Hey everybody, Chad Wilson Smith here, Juggernaut Training Systems. Uh, starting a new series for you today about five pillars for great squat technique. Uh, those are going to cover setup, breathing, um, mindset and descent in the squat, knee action with foot pressure, as well as how to use your upper back in regards to head positioning. My lovely assistant today, IPF world champion, all-time total world record holder, Marissa Enda. And we're going to start off talking about setup. And if you don't set up well in the squat, there's a very low chance that anything after that can go very well. So if you have problems rounding forward, maybe getting pushed forward in the hole, that is probably due to a lack of upper back tightness in the setup. So while you may be thinking that you need some special extra exercises to address that problem in the squat, the first thing you need to do is take a step back, fix the technique, fix your upper back positioning, and make sure that it is tight as possible, uncomfortably tight, most likely, uh, and see how that fixes your squat technique. And then if that still doesn't fix it, then you could worry about some special exercises to do. Good squat setup happens in three steps. First step, hand position. Uh, you might see some really big lifters, hands all the way out at the collars. Um, and you know, for a 52 kilo woman like Marissa, that would be very rare, but wherever your hands are, you want to try and move them in a little bit. Uh, ideally moving them in to as close as your shoulder mobility will allow for. And of course, you know, everything in powerlifting doesn't, none of it happens in a vacuum. So even though maybe you can get your hands all the way in close, uh, that causes your shoulder to hurt or your elbow to hurt and that takes away from your bench train So that's why I say as close as your shoulder mobility will allow for so Marissa go ahead and duck under the bar And Marissa's hand position is very very close great setup position The only caveat to the idea that we want our hands as close as shoulder mobility will allow for is that we need to see that the elbow is aligned inside of the hand so if Marissa was to maybe put her hands really close but leave her elbows out wide, that it doesn't build nearly the same tension in the upper back as the elbows being pulled inside of the hand position, even if it causes the hands to be a little bit wider. Get out of there. And a, a great example of this you know, is Andre Milanichev, maybe the best squatter in the world, has an incredibly tight uh, hand position. And you know, that, again, is the foundation that great squatting technique is built upon. So that's step one is move your hands in as close as your shoulder tech or your shoulder mobility will allow for. Step number two in great uh, squat setup is gonna be to squeeze everything to the middle of the body. So once Marissa's under the bar with that great hand position, we're then gonna focus on pulling the scapula together, like she's trying to pinch my fingers with her shoulder blades. And from there, trying to pull the elbows towards the middle of her body. Real common error we see with this is people pulling the elbows into the side of their body, which is gonna uh, cause the elbows to kind of get in front of the bar and lack a bit of upper back tightness. So a good cue for this is to try and touch your tricep to the back of your lat. Most likely not gonna happen, but trying to achieve that is gonna really improve this upper back tightness. Uh, and if you don't feel like you're, you're accomplishing that, having a coach or a, a training partner come and literally kind of roll your shoulders back together is going to be a really useful cue for that. So that's going to be step number two for our great setup. So number one, close hands. Number two, squeeze everything towards the middle of the body. Shoulder blades fold together, elbows pull together slightly behind the body. So basically your elbows are going to end, end up pointed at the top of your butt. And finally, set Step number three, and it has to happen in this sequence to maximize the effectiveness of things, is to push your elbows under the bar. And this is sort of just the icing on the cake for lat and upper back tightness. So as Marissa gets under the bar, she's squeezing her arms together behind her back and then making a real slight move to try and push her elbows forward. And it's gonna be a very, very subtle movement because she's generated so much tightness by squeezing the upper back together, the elbow is not really gonna be able to move forward. Now, if she was to not have tightness in the upper back, she's relaxed in the upper back, now you can see the elbow moves pretty freely, but it's not generating any additional tension in the lat. And that's really what we're trying to achieve. 
tension throughout the entire upper back, rhomboids, traps, lats. That's when it, what's gonna create the most stable uh, position for you to squat from. It's gonna help you avoid getting rounded over, getting pushed forward out of the hole, and is, again, the foundation for squatting technique. If you don't set up right, it's gonna be very difficult to do anything after that correctly in the squat. So hopefully you learned some important things about squat setup. Uh, thank you to Marissa for demonstrating and be on the lookout for the next parts of our series, uh, Pillars to Great Squatting Technique. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Get expert program design, video analysis, and guidance for powerlifting and weightlifting, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced athlete through Team Juggernauts Online Coaching. Click learn more to sign up.